Hello friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, we are going to discuss about interconversion of aldopentose to aldohexose by Kiliani Fischer synthesis. Right? So what is Kiliani Fischer synthesis actually? It is named by two German scientists called as Heinrich Kiliani and Hermann Emil. It is a method which is mainly used for synthesizing monosaccharides. So monosaccharides are nothing but the uh, classification of the carbohydrates which are called as simple sugars, right? So the carbohydrates will be of many forms like monosaccharides, disaccharides, polysaccharides, oligosaccharides and among them monosaccharides is one of them which comes under the classification of the carbohydrates where we all of us know that. So this Kiliani Fischer synthesis is mainly used for synthesizing these monosaccharides and here what we are going to do is that interconversion of aldopentose to aldohexose. So aldopentose and aldohexose is nothing but the uh, monosaccharides they comes under the monosaccharides classification so here we are uh, so what is the main aim of this Kiliani Fischer synthesis in this in this topic which we are going to discuss is the conversion of aldopentose to aldohexose so aldopentose is nothing but the 5 carbon compound where the name itself indicates pentose means 5 carbon compound aldohexose means 6 carbon compound so why it is named as aldopentose because it contains aldehyde group at the first carbon aldohexose it contains aldehyde group it is the first carbon but here only 5 carbon compound here it is 6 carbon compound so the best example of this aldopentose which you can take it is the arabinose and here the aldohexose is nothing but the glucose where you know that the glucose is a 6 carbon compound right so if you want to know in the form of our structures so the reaction will be assumed in this way so the arabinose will get converted to the glucose where the aldopentose will get converted to aldohexose so this is just a reaction of this interconversion of aldopentose to aldohexose there is a big mechanism which is present behind this so we are going to discuss about that reaction i mean the reaction of the mechanism later so now this is your aldopentose which, is, which contains 5 carbon compound which i have said you pentose means 5 carbon compound right so if you count the number of carbons over here first carbon second carbon third fourth fifth so only 5 carbon compounds are present and here at the first carbon the aldehyde group is present right CHO is nothing but the aldehyde group and the same here also aldehyde group is present in the first carbon hence they are named as aldo aldo right so but it is a six carbon compound hence it is called as hexose it is a five carbon compound hence it is called as pentose right so this is the structure of the arabinose and this will be your structure of the glucose and the arabinose will get converted to glucose I mean the aldopentose will get converted to aldohexose how so here if you see here the aldopentose is a 5 carbon compound but after its conversion by Kiliani Fischer synthesis it is converted to aldohexose which is a 6 carbon compound. So now let us learn about the mechanism of this Kiliani Fischer synthesis of interconversion of aldopentose to aldohexose. So here the reaction begins with aldopentose right. So what is the main aim aldopentose should get converted to aldohexose. So now the reaction will begin with aldopentose which is a 5 carbon compound. So if you count here there are totally 5 carbons right. First carbon, second, third, fourth and fifth. Totally five carbons are present which is called as arabinose and aldehyde group is present in the first carbon. So the total mechanism occurs in the first carbon itself. Right? So now this aldopentose will get treated with HCN. Remember, in this HCN, the H will act as a proton and the CN, cyanide, will act as a negative ion. I mean it will act as an ion. It will not act as a proton. It will act as an ion because it contains negative charge. Right? And here... In the first carbon aldehyde group is present right you can, you can write like this where the oxygen contains negative charge negative charge matlab it contains lone pair of electrons right so now the cyanide will get interacted with this carbon atom and now this proton will get interacted to this oxygen atom so now the structure resembles in this way so this OH will move towards this first carbon and the cyanide will move will get shifted to this carbon atom where the structure resembles in this way right so now here the cyanide group is present right and now it will get treated with water two moles of water so in the two moles of water you can write like this so in this two moles of water totally four hydrogen atoms are present and totally two oxygen atoms are present so totally four hydrogen atoms one two three four four hydrogen atoms are present and two oxygen atoms are present in this two moles of water or two moles of h2o and now in this cyanide nitrogen is present n any group is present right and that group will get interacted with three atoms of hydrogen where it will get moved out in the form of ammonia right it will get protruded out in the form of ammonia during this reaction and now remaining OOH right one hydrogen atom is 
presented and remaining two oxygen atoms are presented i mean will be left over right and now this ooh group will get shifted to this carbon atom right because this ooh is a positive is a positive i mean it is a proton but this carbon contains lone pair of electrons which is a negative charge hence this ooh group will get interacted to this carbon atom where it forms cooh right and now the total structure resembles in this way and in this COOH, OH group is present as well as in the fifth carbon, the OH group is present, right? And in this OH group, the hydrogen atom will get interacted with this OH group, right? So, H is nothing but the proton and OH is nothing but the ion which is present in this COOH, right? Hence, the interaction occurs properly where it will get protruded out in the form of water. Now, it will get heated properly. Once it gets heated, now what will happen? Then the structure resembles in this way, in such a way that the Fischer projection will occur. Remember, the Fischer projection will occur. Hence, the synthesis is called as Kiliani Fischer synthesis. So, what is Fischer projection? I mean, the Fischer projection as well as this uh, uh, total explanation on this carbohydrates has been given uh, in my previous classes. The link will be given in the description box. So, if you understand the concept of the Fischer projection, then you can understand here how the process will be happen. So, now here, the OH group as well as the H which is present in the fourth carbon will be removed in the form of water right and now here the only oxygen atom will be present so now the bond will be formed between this first carbon as well as the fifth carbon in this way right and that projection i mean this uh, formula which has been formed is called as fischer projection right so now this will undergo reduction so once it undergoes reduction now what will happen here the nabh4 we are going to use so there is nothing used about this nabh4 but we are going to uh, use it for the process of speed up in the reaction i mean it is used as catalyst so what is mean by catalyst it is mainly used to speed up the reaction right so nabh4 is nothing but the sodium borohydride you are going to use only this uh, to speed up the reaction where it is used as catalyst now once you undergo the process of this reduction then what will happen here then here hydrogen uh, you know protons will be used two moles of protons will be used and one of the proton will get attached to this uh, you know oxygen atom which is negatively charged negatively charged is nothing but which contains two i mean the pair of electrons so these are the pair of electrons which is present on the oxygen atom and this uh, uh, in these two moles of uh, in these two moles of protons one of the proton will get attached to this oxygen atom which contains lone pair electrons and forms the aldehyde group at the first carbon right it forms the aldehyde group ch4 is nothing but the aldehyde group right and the remaining uh, you know the remaining projections will be same right so this is a process which will be happen now uh, this is called as aldohexose which is a six carbon compound right now count this carbon one carbon two carbon three carbon four carbon five carbon six so totally six carbon compound which is called as a glucose right so aldehyde, is, aldehyde group is present at the first carbon so it is named as aldohexose hexose is nothing but the six carbons which will be present in the structure hence it is called as aldohexose where this is the structure of the glucose so what is the main aim of this uh, kiliani fischer synthesis of interconversion of aldopentose to aldohexose where aldopentose should get converted to aldohexose by using this uh, by using these agents right chemical agents and these are the products which will be removed by the process of the synthesis so what are the products which are removed ammonia will be removed and water molecule will be removed right so here ammonia will be removed and here water molecule will be removed right so in this way you are going to convert the aldopentose to aldohexose it is very simple right so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video just do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this topic you can comment in the comment box you are going to clarify your doubts immediately thank you